Okay, let's have a little look then. Hi, today I'm going to talk about UGC strategies, which stands for your user generated content strategy. Trust me when I say that every single brand needs to use it in some way or another. In this video, we'll talk about the psychology behind a user-generated content strategy, where brands are smashing their UGC and how you can develop your own UGC strategy. Before we get into it, if you like this topic and you are interested in content about digital marketing, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. It would mean the world to us. Okay, so why is UGC so important right now? More and more brands are moving their strategy away from highly crafted brand photography and are opting for more authentic posts that are created by their audience. Why? It's obvious, isn't it? We live in an influencer age, although we've actually always been influenced by the behaviors of others. We've just started calling it out more with the invention of social media and the influencer. Let's dig into the psychology of this phenomenon called the psychology of influence. The psychology of influence revolves around the fact that people can be influenced to do things unconsciously. That's why influencer marketing actually works so well because people aren't always aware that they're being sold to. User-generated content is a huge part of the psychology of influence. To understand this a little bit more, let's talk through the thought process we take when we're about to purchase something. People want to make their own decisions, but they also want to fit in with the crowd. We're all scared of making the wrong decision because this can lead to ridicule or financial risk. So to avoid this risk, we know that we should probably do a bit more research into something before we buy it. Think about how much research you'll do before booking an Airbnb, purchasing new running trainers, or even booking a restaurant for dinner. The reality is that if you go somewhere and you eat a meal you don't like, you've wasted two hours of your time and maybe 30 pounds, which is kind of annoying. But the most frustrating thing is that that mistake could have been avoided if you'd have better researched the restaurant. The annoying thing is you could have had such a great evening, but you've kind of screwed up because you failed to do your research. This plays into our fear of making the wrong decision. And because we're so scared of making the wrong decision, before we purchase something, we need positive indicators that it's going to be worth our time and money, and we're not gonna be left burned. However, whilst we know we need to consider our purchases carefully, not everyone has all the time in the world to go through their brand research, or they're just lazy and they can't be asked. Seeing that something's worked really well for someone else is a quick way to establish that it's the right decision to make that purchase. It's why we place so much weight on customer reviews and it's why user-generated content is a killer marketing strategy. A great example of an excellent UGC strategy comes from the brand Never Fully Dressed. Never Fully Dressed routinely use authentic customer photos instead of branded photography. And they even claim in their Instagram bio that their customer is their influencer. Sounds like a very savvy strategy, doesn't it? One, they reduce their costs for paying influencers to promote their clothes. And two, they flog user-generated content for all it's worth. When you come across one of these images in your feed, you may not instantly know that it comes from a brand because it looks so authentic. Sure, you may see the tick and the brand name afterwards, but by that time, you may be bought in because this is a gorgeous picture of someone in a really nice dress and you think it's someone that you maybe just admire and follow, so you like it. This is where it gets really clever because you're more likely to like the picture if you think it's from a genuine person and not a brand. This helps elevate the post engagement and signals to Instagram that the post should be seen by more people. Additionally, the fact that Never Fully Dressed mentioned in their Instagram bio that their customer is their influencer makes customers more likely to tag them in their posts, and this boosts their UGC immeasurably. Again, it goes back to that unconscious part of the psychology of influence. So how can you establish your own UGC strategy? Well, there are a few tips that you can follow to do it, and it's so simple. One, routinely ask your audience to tag you in their posts. Two, be open about the fact that you share customer photos. And if you come across a customer photo that you like, ask their permission to share it. Three, don't limit your UGC just to Instagram. If you have the poster's permission, you can actually share these images in social ads, email newsletters, and so on. And four, give your customers an incentive to share the photos of your product. 
Are you running a competition maybe? Is there some sort of social value to showcasing one of your products? Will they in turn gain more social engagements by tagging your brand? These are all things to think about. I hope that was helpful. The most important thing to remember when you're tackling UGC is that it needs to play into the unconscious part of the psychology of influence. So much of what we do as brands is sell and that's perfectly fine. If we're not our own cheerleaders, who will be? But the benefit of UGC is that it is authentic. And to be honest, even if your customers are selling your products on your behalf, if they're sharing something that they love, then everyone wins because people that trust them get great recommendations of products they'll probably love too. And you get to boost your marketing strategy, simple. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be back soon with more marketing advice. Have a good one.